You have basic qualifications about what to meet, and if they're met, then release it. It's good enough. Had a long day today. As long of a day as an unemployed tech worker can have. I think I'm kind of understanding why people say like not to try and build a business out of your passions. Too many emotions are involved. And you know how it is when you're at work. It doesn't matter how you feel like the work gets done. Money still has to be made. Quota still has to be met. Product still has to be released. Product still has to be sold. When it's something you're passionate about, it has to be perfect. It has to be the idea that you have in your head. And if not, then you're not gonna feel comfortable with it, I guess. I kinda saw this, a glimpse of this recently with a friend of mine who I have or had a friend, I don't know anymore, we don't talk. This person made a living on Instagram, will work seven days a week, but at the end only use about three days worth of work. My advice, treat it like a job. Do the work, show up, release, irregardless of how you feel because it is a job at the end of the day. You have basic qualifications about what to meet and if they're met, then release it, it's good enough. The work isn't a reflection of you. You had this perfect image of it in your head, but you're never gonna get it. You're not gonna get it if you have help. You're not gonna get it if you do it all yourself. And I don't think that's a hopeless, I don't think that's a sad realization. I think that's a, a beautiful thing because if you're always chasing the fantasy in your head, then you'll always generate new ideas. And if you always generate new ideas, then you can keep pumping out the work. It's just hard when you're passionate about it, I guess. I don't know. I have those basic qualifications for music, like what determines that a song is done and determines that it's good enough, irregardless if it meets whatever expectations I had in my head, because it's never gonna meet it. And those qualifications are, am I on beat? Is the cadence right? Is it mixed? Is it mastered to basic loudness of like streaming platforms? Does it fit the theme of the project? I don't know. I had the, I had it a list. I had it listed out in my notes and I got it from one of the Ben Staples interviews. Love it, Staples, by the way. I think whether or not your thing is actually good, you're probably a bad judge of it. When it's yours and when it's your baby, it's like inbred. You keep editing or you keep making corrections over and over again. And it's, it's, you're throwing up and you're eating your own throw up. And there's beauty in it. When people consume it and they appreciate it, they're appreciating like you at your rawest form, I guess. But that's a beauty is in the eyes of the beholder kind of thing. And the other person's judgment is more valid than yours about the quality of your work. Because if you have any self-respect, you're going to defend it. Like you're not going to agree with somebody when they say oh, you got an ugly baby. Like, yeah, believe in yourself, but don't get caught up in it. Perfection doesn't exist. I kind of think the, the freedom in art is in not caring about it. It's always because they think it's good enough, every time. Whether it's somebody making something extremely campy or somebody who is really good at something because they've been doing it for a really long time, or it's just somebody who's delusional and don't give a fuck and making something dog shit, but they can convince other people to like it because they believe in it. I said this already, this isn't a video about delusion. I think I end up making mid music because I care too much about it being mid. And I keep going back and changing and changing and changing and changing and obsessing over it like the little shit. I'm not, I'm not free. Like I feel like these videos, I've been making music for two years. I've been making videos for a couple weeks. And I feel like the videos are decent. I can get an idea off. I'm a professional. I care about my work. But when it comes to these videos, I do not give a fuck. I care, don't get me wrong, but I do not give a fuck. And that's part of the magic. I just wish that it could be in the thing. And I don't know how to let be and to let go. I don't know, my way or not, whatever. It's one thing for certain is that I don't have a choice. I'm gonna meditate on it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. And I'm gonna get back to work. Cause what else am I gonna do?